What's going on, everybody? Eric Taylor, Taylor 2 Coaching, continuing my Mars series. Ah, yeah, this is Mars in the second house. Numero dos. Okay. Um, like always, please subscribe, share, like the video when this is over. You know, ring the bell, ring the alarm, and then click the all button. Okay. Oh, because then that way you know when I'm doing different videos and going live with Knowledge is Love podcast. Make sure you go watch episode 41 for the Pluto return. That's a good one. Um, and Astrological Coffee Talk. I had to switch the date. It is Sunday, March 13th, 2022, 1 p.m. Eastern. You book it $12 directly. It's going up next month, so book it $12. It's for 90 minutes. I teach an astrology lesson. We exchange ideas and thoughts and tidbits and knowledge. It's all about building astrology community, you guys, okay? And I love the exchange. And last month was awesome. So just hit me up, taylor2coaching at gmail.com. And then we can set up the payment, PayPal, Cash App, and get it done. So what's Mars? It's about that action, boss. Mars is your energy, your action, your aggressive, assertive willpower, your drive. For men, it's your sex drive. For women, it's the type of man you're like attracted to, right? When you see Mars, Mars is that, that thing that makes you go and, and, and assess and attack because it's the warrior, the soldier, the fighter, right? It's blood, it's surgery, it cuts and divides, right? It's a malefic, more of a negative acting planet. So when you're dealing with Mars, right? And it's also the acquiring of land. When you deal with it in the second house, the second house is what? This is sort of like the toddler. This is your food, right? Your speech, your survival, material items, your five senses, the family assets, your values, your self-worth, right? Um, Here you also see um, what you can save, okay? Um, What else you got in the second house? Uh, that's, you know, pretty much it. Oh, your gains, right? How you will earn money. So what's Mars in the second house? This is someone that can be pretty intense, can argue and curse a lot. They can either be super defense, def- defensive or verbally uh, combative in defending their family, or you can, depend on other placements, you can argue a lot with your family. I mean, Mars is, you know, can go either way. Um, A lot of these people though, they can earn a lot of money and then spend a lot of money, right? Mars matures at around 27, 27 and a half. So it will take these people between like 28 and 36 for their Mars to calm down so they're not getting into wild arguments and silly fights and that they can save the money that they work so hard to earn. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, now these people, they can have a potty mouth. Like you effing this, da, 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 F you and MF that and you dumb MF, you know, like they curse a lot. They do. <laughs> I've seen it in a lot of clients' charts. It's actually, it's it's a trip. It's kind of amazing how like astrology plays out in living color, you know? And you, it's something that you definitely see. Um, Mars, being the soldier, warrior, and fighter, you can have someone here that can be like a, that can have very aggressive and assertive speech, right? Authoritarian, you know, like a, I think, uh, George Bush had this, or maybe Hitler, it's, you know, different people. But you could see people that are like, you know, follow me and lead me and rile up the crowd and let's go get them. You know, we're going to fight this fight and we're going to conquer this land. You know, it's for our survival. <laughs> yeah. Um, so another thing here you'll see with Mars, right? Because what is it? It's trining the 6th and 10th. 
but it's opposing the eighth house of other people's money, taxes, stuff like that. So these people can be very assertive in terms of working in real estate, working in, you know, for the IRS, being um, someone who, you know, wants to be uh, in the military. You can see people who, um, uh, one thing that I've noticed a lot, these people can definitely have um, arguments with um, a lot of their, their coworkers. They'll, they'll do good um, and they'll kind of win their little spats or battles and people will fall into line, but they can definitely be very competitive and argumentative. These are also great athletes. Mars in the second house, you can value, you know, being, you know, working out and being in great health and great shape to be a great athlete. And these people are carnivores. <laughs> this is definitely a placement for uh, meat eaters. You know what I mean? You're going to see Mars, uh, the second house, eat a lot of meat, but they, once they get going and get angry, they can have a very bad temper. You know, it's, it's, it's just one of those placements, you know? I mean, this is, is it is what it is. Um, one thing that I noticed about Mars in the second house, they can, you can see where sometimes they can have, they can be prone to getting into a lot of accidents, right? Because that's that Mars. Remember, Mars rules Aries and Scorpio and is exalted in Capricorn, right? So it falls in Cancer. It's debilitated in Libra and Taurus, right? So this being sort of like a Taurus type house, Mars here, you know, they could, they could also get into criminology of stealing crystals and robbing banks and gems and stuff like that. You know, there could be some sneaky criminals here too, you know. So don't don't sleep on that. But um, you know, I think you'll see that these people, once the Mars kind of matures and calms down, this can be a very productive placement where then you can save money and have good family assets. And you'll be very loyal to your um, family. So usually these people will follow in their parents' or their father's footsteps, okay? And um, very, <clears throat> very assertive speaking, you know? So sometimes when you think about music, you can find a lot of, you know, Heavy metal, hip hop rappers here, you know, stuff like that with Mars in the second house. You know, just a little tidbit, a little something, something. But Mars in the second house is, you know, it's not the best placement. And it's not the worst, but it's, it's, you know, and you want to look at the sign, right? On the cusp. Cause I told you it plays out differently if it's an Aries, Scorpio, or Capricorn, you know, it's going to be about achievement for career. And climbing that corporate ladder of success in Capricorn. Scorpio can be more medical. Aries, it can be, you know, very brave and courageous. The firefighter, the police officer, you know, these people can deal with sudden events and emergencies. So these people can also work in the ER. Um, they can get into medicine, you know, herbalists, stuff like that. So. And they definitely, definitely can do well in acquiring land and real estate. Okay. So I think, you know, pretty much covered Mars in the second house. We're going around, getting this series together, you know. And um, next will be Mars in the third house. I, um, I hope that you mature, save your money, and stop all that cursing. <laughs> all right, Mars, in the second house. You know I like to have fun with you. But like always, please comment down below, 
share, subscribe. Let me know how your Mars plays out. Obviously, this does, you know, it's different if Saturn's there, if Venus is there. You might earn money, you know, working in more, you know, sensual things, stuff like that. Um, you can be very, uh, you know, sexually aggressive too with Mars in the second house. Um, yeah. So follow me. Email me. You want to get a chart reading? Taylor2Coaching at gmail.com. Visit the website, Taylor2Coaching.com. See all my services, my prices, relationship coaching, uh, business, birth charts, very popular, live readings, okay? $100 for 60 minutes, $55 for 30 minutes over Zoom. Send you the audio MP3. Really good. Hater, mini, mini career, mini relationship, mini hater charts. The mini big three, sun, moon, rising, and part of fortune. Mini big four, sun, moon, rising, part of fortune, breaking down also your north and south nodes. That's the big four. All right? All right, Mars. T2UC big three astrology. Uh, now, F off. <laughs> Oops, did my Mars in the second house come out? Sorry. Joking. Hi, y'all. Peace. Later.